Trick time. All right, so let's do this thing. Um, I reckon the best bet to stop this would be to stop that explosion because that's what caused Lynn to jump and save Camilla. I mean, hell, she might still be shot by the man in red, but maybe she can figure something out. You're pretty up for a dead woman. You know how detectives love a good mystery? It's like a shot of vitamins. And what do you mean for a dead woman? <laughs> anyway, I guess we should look for a way to stop that explosion. All right, let's do this thing. Finding clues like a dose of minerals to a detective. I don't really get what you're talking about, Lynn, but okay. And yeah, I reckon going to that phone's the best bet because, um, like, no doubt they're from another part of the ship that's like, what's going on over there or something like that. And so maybe if we go over there, we can find some place to stop the explosion because I don't really know what we can do in this room. I mean, right now we're stuck on Lynn's body. I do remember Camilla walking over a little bit, so we can jump over to her then. It's a pretty big room. It looks almost like the engine of the ship. It makes you wonder why they hold the book Camilla here. The phone is ringing. It's not for me. Nobody ever calls the dead. Okay, that should be enough room to get over to the phone. Let's do this! Uh, dial? It's no use, I can't get the line to work. That's funny. I thought I could use the phone in the past if someone was calling. What are you talking about? The receiver has to be off the hook first, silly. Oh, <laughs> that makes sense. Well, don't look at me, I can't do it. I don't have any hands or feet right now. Somebody please answer that phone. If you want something done, you have to do it yourself. So what can we do? Um, Not much down there. What about up here? We have a wheel we can turn, a handle we can turn, an emergency light, and that is it. Oh, even more stuff up there. Which tells me that we'll be coming back to this room at some point. <laughs> Alright, let's turn this handle. Nothing happened. Uh, let's turn this wheel. Oh, that's useful. Hey, you somehow managed to knock down the receiver. Somehow managed? Who's to say that's not how I planned it? Come on, hurry, now's your chance to get on the phone. It might be Detective Jowd. She's right, I better check it out. I don't think it'll be the detective. I mean, he's off, you know, who knows where at the moment. Yeah, it's just a random dude. <laughs> Hello, anyone there? If anybody's still there, get yourself here in the double. We're about to head out. Speak up, why don't you answer? Anyway, come if you're coming. We're leaving. I guess we'll go. Are they going to where? That's the question. Maybe they abandoned the ship. So it must be true what they say, that there were restless ghosts on board. New info has been added about this random dude. That does it, I promise to turn over a new leaf, mom. And there he goes. To do something. Who is he calling restless ghosts? Well, it's true neither of us are really resting in peace. Anyway, it looks like the sub just lost one of its crew. Huh. I guess that means the fate of the sub has changed slightly. That's interesting. At least we can- Oh, okay! Oh right, we're in the past, so of course it'd be happening. Yeah, this is the part where they take the Temsic fragment out of the man in red. It's Detective Jowd! What's going on there? I saw this little deal go down once before. In just a moment, the man in red is about to get his Tempsig fragment taken away. Trick time. Okay, so what should we do about this? Are we going to try and stop it, or are we going to go with it to see where it goes? Lower this, won't budge, maybe it's broken. <laughs> Once again, we'll be coming back here later, no doubt. A valve we can turn. Um, the wastebasket, maybe? Okay, so if we hit this and then quickly jump into it when it's coming back down, that might be enough. Nope. What about this? That looks... No, come on! Cecil! Ah, oh, damn it. Oh. Well, that's much easier. <laughs> Alright, up here. And we are in the light. And from here we can't really do anything? What are they up to? Oh, there's a capsule. Wait a second! Okay, that was close. <laughs> So we can get in the capsule. Well, I missed my chance to go over there, but let's see where the capsule's going. We little spring. Oh, there he is! Oh, so the entire time is right next door. 
Ah, the Tempsic Fragment, you're mine at last! Oh, well, he's happy about that. He's almost like a cat. <laughs> I also love how, like, all of his crew is, like, stuck in the ship there. <laughs> the objective has been achieved. Now be detached to the control room as planned. Yes, sir. Farewell, sir. There they go. Cecil, what has happened? The whole room just disappeared with Detective Jad in it. Don't worry, Lynn. I bet Detective Jad can take care of himself. The main thing right now is rescuing you and the little lady. I can't believe this is happening. Who knows where they even went. Now then, I better hurry along before Cecil discovers what he's lost and comes after me. The you know it would be his coffin. A torpedo? Is that what caused the explosion? Holy shit. So this guy abandoned his entire ship just to get the Tempsig Fragment and get rid of Cecil? Damn. I mean, hey, if that Tempsig Fragment can give ghost powers, then he could, like, I guess kill his own people in order to give them powers and then take over the world or something? Ah, so that's the cause of the giant explosion. Huh? What is? Don't tell me that's another thing you've forgotten. The torpedo, it's like, well, you've heard of a missile before, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, we know missile. But a different missile comes more readily to mind. It looks like you're planning to sink that submarine with that thing. Okay, so this would kill both Lynn and Camilla. We have to do something before that torpedo is fired. Trick time. Alright, so how much time do we have? I'm guessing not much. Let's lower this thing. We're now down here. Oh shit! We have to hurry. Power switchboard torpedo. How can we stop it though? Oh. It's gonna launch. Don't worry, we can still find a way to stop it. What? How? Even if the torpedo does launch, we just have to stop it from detonating, right? There's still something we can do. I hope. Why was the I hope at the end the strongest part of that sentence? Okay, here goes. And we're off. So how are we gonna do this? It's heading back towards the ship! Oh man, this is cool. Poor little mouse as well. <laughs> so we're inside the torpedo. Man, this is like... This is cool! But was this really the best move? I think so. We just have to keep it from going off right. So how do we do that? <laughs> yeah, I bet. How in the world did it get in here? <laughs> I don't know, rats are getting all over the place in this game. So what do we have? We have a gyroscope? I think it's outside parts are supposed to be weights of some sort. The spinning black things, right? Apparently the spinning helps the torpedo maintain its balance. They must be pretty heavy. Weights for our advantage somehow, yeah. What else do we have? We have a striker. The detonator, which we can examine. Another gyroscope. I guess maybe just... I guess if we, like, put the gyroscopes... Well, we can stop them, right? So if we put them in the same position, wouldn't that cause the torpedo to, like, go off in a different direction? And not hit the ship? So what about, like, this? Right, it's down at the moment. Let's try to do it for the other one, too. There we go, okay. So that should put it off balance, right? We can also operate that and examine the detonator. Maybe we can detonate it early, too? This is probably the detonator. Hey, don't press, the torpedo will explode. Uh oh, better be careful. <laughs> but you know, there should be a safety device around here somewhere. Safety device, sir, that does sound promising. We have to put the safety thing on before this thing blows up. I guess. examine this. <laughs> oh, he crushed the mouse, I'm sorry, sir. Uh, this thing looks just like the thing. If we clamp this thing on the fuse, it should keep it from moving. Uh-uh, so what does that mean exactly? <laughs> yeah, Cecil's like completely lost. I'm glad we have a detective here. It means we might be able to stop the torpedo from exploding with this. I have to admit, I don't understand all the details, but I do want to give it a try. But before we can do that... Get something out of the way first. So we have to get the mouse out of the way first. Oh man, I'm really, really confused. Um... <laughs> let's try stopping this again. Stop it up, that's fine. Um, let's... Stop this one too. Uh. Okay. 
So it flips it. Interesting, that was completely by accident. But hey, I'm happy about that. Well, those weights were heavy enough to turn the whole torpedo over. Now for that safety device. Right. Let's do this quickly. We don't have a whole lot of time. Upright it. There, we clamped the safety device on. We did it, that should keep the torpedo from exploding. But there's just one small problem. Problem, what's that? The torpedo is still going to impact. We can't do anything about that. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, there it goes. But at the very least, that should stop the big explosion. Oh, wow, it, uh... Wait, what happened? Looks like the torpedo is still at the submarine. But it looks like the submarine is still okay. This changes everybody's fates, including the little rats. See, so we did it! I'm feeling the rats aren't okay, though. I mean, he did just hit a ship in a torpedo. But okay, I'll leave her. Uh, lean to her imagination there. What's the matter? You still look unhappy. We stopped the torpedo from blowing up. But we still opened up a gaping hole in the submarine. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's just what missiles do. They're unstoppable. Am I hearing things? Anyway, I guess we better head back to the present as quickly as we can. Right, I'm worried about Camilla. We managed to stop death for now, but it hasn't disappeared altogether. It's now slowly but surely filling the room. Oh yeah. Uh oh. Water is seeping in through the hole where the torpedo hit. I've got to get them out of here. I better go meet up with Lynn. So how are we going to get out of this one? I mean, hell, they're stuck at the bottom of the sea. It seems like that guy took the only ship on board. But I don't know, I'm sure we'll figure something out. Alright, let's operate this starter. Not really sure what this would do. It turns the fans on and rotates the belt at the bottom, which is nice. The lights went out, but this machine apparently still works. Okay. Not for long, though. Maybe I can use this movement to stop cramming a path. Yeah, good idea. Also, another really big thing here is where the hell did the man in red go? Because when Camilla was here before, she was by herself, right? So does that mean that he's still here somewhere? I mean, hell, maybe he's still in Camilla. I guess we'll see. Well, at least we made it over here now, which is good. We have a piston, a flashlight. Ah, this will work well, actually. Which one is it? It's Camilla, perfect. Camilla, you're awake, how do you feel? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I pointed that gun at you. Don't worry about that, that wasn't you. Miss Camilla! Oh, Missile, you're here. Oh, poor Miss Camilla. Miss Lim, what should we do? We have to get out of here before any more water comes in. Sister should be along any second. I knew Sissy would come. And Missy is here too. <laughs> Sissy and Missy, what a pair. And she fainted. To be honest, it's been one hell of a night for Camilla, so I'm not surprised. She's right so far, I'll just let her rest a bit. It's the last thing I do. Oh, I think I'm gonna cry! Or whimper, as that case may be. I better send a signal to Lynn that I'm here, before it's too late. Why, I know the perfect thing! There we go. <laughs> oh, look at that flashlight! It's Cecil, he's here! Okay, so this is what this room's all about. We have to somehow get the two of them out of here. As for how to do that, I'm not really sure. I'm glad you're here, Cecil. Sorry for the wait. It looks like this room is going to fill up with water fast. We better get out of that door as quickly as we can. We won't be getting out of that door, I'm afraid. The water pressure is too great already, I can't open it. What? What does water pressure mean? <laughs> Think of it as the force of the water holding that door closed. Oh man, the way they describe this to Cecil reminds me so much of like, um, what's it called? Bullet fingerprints or something in Ace Attorney? 
how like every game they always explain what they are because people keep forgetting or they don't know even though it's like really basic stuff for the police <laughs> oh man uh, the water level keeps getting higher and higher in here so the only way out of here is up huh exactly okay got it let's look for a new path that goes up well there's a ladder right there that's probably our best bet I would say hey look at that ladder I wonder if we can get it down somehow Good idea, let's try it. Oh, and by the way, yes? I can't swim. Neither can Camilla. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll do it for ya.